myself and Abby and Tony Lee is going to read the book out to you. And just so you can all see, the book's called The Dancing Footballer. Avery loved football. Every Saturday morning, her mum would pick her up from dance lessons and they would go and watch her older brother, Simon, play football with the team. Mum, Avery asked, can I play football too? Avery's mother shook her head and laughed. Avery, girls don't play football. You'd be better off just sticking to your dancing. This made Avery very sad. Then one day in school, she saw a poster, tryouts for all girls football team, it said. Avery was so happy, that afternoon she ran off the bus and shouted to her mum, I'm going to play football. After a lot of convincing, Avery's mum finally agreed. And the night before tryouts, she was so nervous, she could hardly sleep. The next morning, at tried, Avery wasn't very good. She missed the ball and tripped over, trying to tackle another player. But she was having so much fun, she didn't give up. One of the other girls, Leah, laughed at Avery, and so did a few of the others, but Avery didn't care. She loved football. The coach came over to her at the end of the tryouts and said, Well done, Avery. You have tried really hard today. Have you ever played football before? Avery shook her head. I've only ever done dance before, she said. Behind her, Avery heard Leah whispering. She shouldn't, she should stick to dancing, and the other girls laughed. But the coach gave her a pat on the back and said, you're on the team. Every week, Avery went to practice. She tried her best, but still, she was not as good as some of the other girls. Every week, Leah would say, you should stick to dancing, but Avery did not give up. One day, the coach came in looking very excited. Girls, he said, we have our first match. The day of the match came and Avery waited to be called. When the coach told her to get ready, Avery was really nervous. As she walked past Leah, the older girls gave her a nasty smile and whispered, you should have stuck to dancing. Avery was cross. She wasn't the best footballer, but she was a good dancer. Avery had an idea. Out on the pitch, Avery waited until the ball was passed to her. And when a player from the other team tried to tackle her, she pirouetted out of the way with the ball. The other players stopped with their mouths open. Avery danced with the ball all the way up the pitch. Every time another player tried to take the ball, she jumped and twisted out of the way. The keeper was so busy watching her dance that she never saw the ball until it was in the back of the net. The crowd roared. Avery, the coach said, giving her a hug. You've won the match. Avery was so happy, she really did love football. The end. <laughs>